with an abundance of wild animals in their natural, unfettered environment. They are one of the biggest attractions to visitors to the country. Safaris available in South Africa's numerous national parks and private game reserves give you the opportunity to see these animals close up where they belong and to learn more about them than you can ever imagine. Thankfully, we live in an era of conservation, a very different from the early 20th century when shooting large quantities of game was considered a sport. The animals in South Africa's national parks are well looked after by conservationists and rangers who will share with you their professional knowledge and understanding of the wildlife. There is something special about the bush. The atmosphere, the smell, the tranquility are unforgettable and will remain with you forever if you have never experienced it before. Photos of Africa have produced this DVD guide African wildlife, especially to give you an insight into life in the bush. Superb photography is accompanied by a detailed narrative of over 20 animals' characteristics, habitats and behavior, which you are likely to see on a safari tour in South Africa. Let this DVD tempt you to find the spirit of Africa for yourself. The lion is the biggest carnivore in Africa. Adult males have manes of variegated color from pale brown to black and of widely differing lengths and thicknesses. The head is large with a powerful muzzle. The lion's habitat is limited to the African bush. They are not found in rainforests or deserts. Lions are not especially fussy about their meat. They prey mainly on medium to large mammals, typically wildebeest, buffalo, zebra and buck. However, they are also known to eat rodents, reptiles, fish and even insects. Occasionally, they hunt larger species, young elephants and giraffe. Unlike most felines, lions are social cats. They organize themselves into a unit known as a pride, a group comprising females with their cubs and between one and about six adult males. It is another common misconception that there is only ever one male to a pride. However, only the males within the pride get to breed with its females. Male adults wishing to take over a pride challenge the males in fights, often to the death. Prides are a terrestrial squadron, like a self-defensive, self-perpetuating team that breeds and raises cubs until a stronger male breaks up the team and takes over the breeding. Most of the hunting is done by the females, as they are less conspicuous and smaller than the males. But single males have to fend for themselves. Unlike other cats, lions regularly hunt in packs, usually bringing down their prey with their claws or by suffocation, followed by a killing attack to the throat. Here is a pair mating. Promiscuous creatures, the female lions mate with all her pride's males and care for and suckle the other female's cubs too. During her season, a female mates over a period of two to three days, every 15 minutes or so. The white or square-lipped rhinoceros is the second largest land mammal after the elephant. 